Today we're going to be talking about steaming, specifically a technique called en papillote. I love en papillote, which is steaming in parchment paper, because it's a fun presentation, it's easy to prep ahead of time, and there's very little cleanup too. Let's talk about the best material for packet cooking. You don't want to use wax paper because it can burn in the oven. Foil is great for the grill and also works in the oven, but it doesn't make for as pretty of a presentation. I prefer parchment because it's pretty on the plate and also it's easier to tell when it's working because it'll puff up in the oven. When it comes to the size of your parchment paper, you want about the size of a half sheet tray. So you can either cut that from a roll of parchment paper or if you plan on using this technique a lot, I recommend just buying pre-cut sheets, which is what we're using here. You can actually make a packet with just this rectangular shape, but I like to cut mine into a heart because it'll make it easier to seal. So the first thing you wanna do is just fold it over and then make a nice solid crease. Next, we'll take a pair of scissors and just cut it into a nice half of a heart shape so that when we unfold it, you have a heart. Now let's talk about ingredients. The best ingredients for en papillote are quick cooking, proteins, and vegetables. If we do want to use a root vegetable like a carrot or a potato, we either want to par cook it a little bit or cut it into very small pieces so that it'll cook at the same time as our fish. We don't want to use something like this, which will take way too long to cook. Instead, we'll cut it into just a small piece so that when our salmon is done, our carrots are tender. Let's talk about placement of the ingredients. So what we don't want to do is pile everything into the center of our parchment paper because then it's going to make it hard to fold. So instead, we want to put everything on one side, maybe about an inch away from the crease. I like to start with my vegetable on the bottom, creating kind of a protective layer for our protein, and then finish with whatever moisture or fat we might be using, and then any aromatics or herbs. Once I have all my ingredients on the parchment paper, I'm gonna start at the rounded end and just start folding and creasing. So about halfway through each fold, I'll fold again and then crease. Let's replay that. And I'll do that all the way down to the pointed end. And at the very bottom, I'm just gonna twist to secure the packet. Then I'll take as many packets as I made and transfer them to my sheet tray. All right, now we can just cut it open. The second you open it up, it just smells delicious. The aroma of the lemon and the herbs just wafts right up to your nose and I just can't wait to dig in. In order to create the steamy environment inside the packet, you need to have a little bit of moisture in each packet. So in this case, we added some butter. Moisture can be in the form of fat, but we could also use a splash of wine, a splash of chicken or vegetable stock, soy sauce, or even salsa. This method is great because we can cook a lot of our components for our meal all in one. We can prep it ahead of time, and as you can see, our cleanup is as easy as throwing away the parchment paper. In addition to steaming fish, you can also steam tofu and even a vegetable medley. Now that you know all about steaming and cooking in papillote, you can create these nice little gifts for your friends when they come over for dinner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.